Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be starting a series in which I try to grow a $1,500 sports card collection into a $10,000 sports card collection. Make sure to subscribe to follow along if you aren't already. I feel that I see a lot of videos where people aren't being fully transparent and might be hiding their losses and only showing their gains to make sports card investing look a lot more glamorous and profitable than it really is. In reality, most people will lose money unless you do a lot of research and have patience. I personally have had some pretty big profits and equally big losses. It really took me a while until I started consistently profiting and found a strategy that works for me. I started off with a $1,500 budget and bought a handful of cards last month. Now let's take a look at those cards that I purchased for this portfolio. The first card in the portfolio is James Cook Mosaic Genesis. This card is in a PSA 10 with only a pop of nine. I purchased this card for 139 and the last sale was actually for 139. So I believe that was my purchase. James Cook is in a great situation with the Buffalo Bills. I believe they moved on from Devin Singletary. So he should be RB1 this year. The Bills also are a very pass heavy team, meaning that other teams won't stack as many defenders in the box, giving him better opportunities to run the ball. The Bills also have been in playoff contention for the past couple years so this should be a great opportunity to give James Cook the spotlight if he's able to perform well I could see this card shooting up pretty quickly if the Bills start off having a hot beginning of the season due to this having such a low pop if people wanted to start sending out their cards to get graded to try to get a 10 it would be months before they get returns or they'd have to pay way too much for quick grading which then would shoot up the price of cards that are already graded in a PSA 10. The next card is Sauce Gardner. This is his Silver Prism Rookie Auto. This card is ungraded. I purchased it for $65. It's now at around $54, slightly went down in value. I purchased this card when Aaron Rodgers announced that he wanted to go to the Jets. So I think his cards and other Jets cards pumped momentarily, but then started to cool off since there's really no catalyst until the season start. I believe this card can go up in value if he continues to have a really good season like he did his first year winning defensive rookie player of the year the jets are set up to win now so he, he could have a great year they could have a chance at the super bowl a really deep playoff run if that happens this card will definitely go up in value so this is one of the cards that i'm hoping will provide a really good return on investment the next card is sam howe this is a sam howe silver prism rookie card Sam Howe is in a pretty good situation right now with the Commanders. They were a QB carousel last year that I think really hurt the team. The team didn't want to commit to Taylor Heineke, so they let him walk. So it looks like Sam Howe will get the nod at starting quarterback. As everyone has seen, the Commanders ended up uh, being sold to a new owner, which should allow the team to kind of maybe rally around that and want to be in a win now situation. I don't think they're going to win at all, but they could have a pretty good season. Sam Howe is definitely a very high risk, high reward kind of player. He flashed some signs of brilliance last season, but then also some signs that he needed more time to learn to be a starting QB caliber player. He has some great targets, Scary Terry, Jahan Dotson, who's one of my favorite players, uh, Brian Robinson at running back, and they have some pretty good people on the defensive side with Montez Sweat and Chase Young. We'll see how this season goes, but $125 is what I paid for this card and last sold for $180. It's already up almost $55. $125 for a rookie QB Silver Prism Auto is a steal if he ends up being the long-term solution for the commanders but again this card is super high risk high reward so we hope that he ends up being a starting caliber quarterback so we could trade this card into something better to increase the overall portfolio the next card is a desmond ritter mosaic genesis this card is ungraded uh, it's a raw card i ended up purchasing it for 100 dollars and it last sold for 95 dollars. so not much of a loss has not got up yet i purchased this card in the portfolio because I, I think the falcons are in a terrible terrible division and they're building a pretty good core they have drake london as their wide out one and they have kyle pitts who was pretty injured last year so i think he's gonna hopefully have a healthy season this year and could help perform for them they have the vet cordell patterson he's a running back receiver he does everything kick returner punt returner he's a great player to have on their team they also have Bijan robinson they drafted him this year he is scouted to be a generational talent so we'll see if that comes into effect with the falcons the falcons have drafted 
running backs pretty good in the previous years so hopefully that will help their running game improve which will pull off some of the pressure on Desmond Ritter when teams know that you're going to throw the ball 40 40 50 times a game it's a lot easier to defend so hopefully opening up that run game will give Desmond Ritter some easier looks and if he's able to secure that starting position for them I believe this card can go up um, we'll see how he starts off the season. Um, they might play him a little bit in preseason, but it'll probably be when the season starts. We'll get to see more of him operating with the offense, and we'll see if this card goes up in value. The next pickup is one of my favorite cards. I made a video on this, how I think Jalen Hurts is super, super undervalued. This is his rated rookie optic hollow in a PSA 10. It has a pretty high pop count of 1,031. I paid $275 for this card and it's already gone up to $315 in a little over a month, I believe it's been. So increased already $40 in value. I think it will continue to rise because as I said in my previous video, I think Jalen Hurts is so undervalued right now. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. I've been swooping up a lot of his cards, so I definitely want one of those cards in this portfolio because I think it will continue to increase in value. Um, I don't want to beat a dead horse. I already went into depth why I think Jalen Hurts is super, super undervalued. But for this portfolio, we're going to be having this card in here and it's already gone up a little bit in value. So hopefully it continues to go up. The next card is actually my favorite card that I've picked up this offseason. It is a Josh Allen Rookie Prism Red, White, and Blue. I really, really like this card. I think it's crazy undervalued for how low the pop is. This particular card is in a PSA 9 with a pop count of only 281. A lot of the cards from 2018 have a very low pop count. so they allow value to be held a little bit longer. Josh Allen is in a win now mode. I don't think he could keep not making deep playoff runs and his cards to keep maintaining their value, but this was a great steal. I got it for 350. It looks like the last sale was for 350 also. I wonder, I don't think that was mine because it was in May. My, I believe I purchased this in April, but let's take a look at the long run of the chart. This card only let's add a 180 day. This card back in November of 2022 was all the way up in the $600 range. And throughout the year, it pretty much held that value slightly went down between four and five and kept kind of fluctuating and then has been going down since the off season. So at 350, I think it's a great pickup. If the Bills start off the year playing well, I believe they have the season opener versus the Jets. If they win that game, I could easily see this card going back into that $600 range, which would be great for the portfolio. This card, if you're able to get it, I, I highly recommend this card if you can find it for 350 or under, because it's, it's not a numbered card, but it has a very low population and that red, white, and blue parallel is just perfect for the Bills colors. The last card is a Brock Purdy Mosaic Ricky Auto. It's the red parallel version, so it's the color match. This card, I got it in a PSA 9. There's only a Pop 14. I paid 400 and the last sale was 400. I believe that was mine. You don't really see many of these on the market. I bought this card because it was pretty low in value if Brock Purdy comes back to be the same caliber quarterback that he was last season. Having that injury and surgery that he had in the offseason, it, it leaves a lot of room for him to come back not being the same caliber player. But the 49ers are such a loaded team that I think even if he comes back, I don't know, 75% to start the year and slowly builds up to being back to where he is, that they could have a great season and even a Super Bowl run. If the Brock Purdy hype comes back, I could see this card skyrocketing in value, especially since it being such a low pop if people wanted to start getting cards graded. Like I said with the other examples, they're going to have to send them out, wait for months, or pay a lot of money for express shipping. That then ends up bringing up the value of the current PSA graded cards. So this card, pretty high risk, pretty high reward. I, I don't think that it's going to take off as quickly as another risk like the Sam Howe or the Sauce Gardner cards, but there's a lot of high expectations on the 49ers. So if he holds those expectations, it can go up. And if he exceeds them, then it definitely will go up. 
That's all for this video. In summary, we ended up getting seven total cards to start this portfolio that cost us $1,450. The portfolio has already risen because these cards were purchased in March and April to 1,530, giving us an increase of around 78.99. We hope to continue to grow this portfolio to our goal of a $10,000 account. I wanted to be able to show you this, the transparency to see if we could even get there. Is it possible? How hard is it? Just kind of to answer everyone's questions. If you want to follow along in this journey, please remember to like and subscribe. I'm going to keep this series going. Anytime I have an update, I'll make a video and you guys can work with me to continue this journey. If you have any recommendations of cards that we should buy, put them down in the comments. I'll do some research, check them out and let you guys know what I think. That's all for this video. Take care.